we've set ourselves a clear target in the Netherlands. No more CO2 emissions and a fully circular economy by 2050. There are plenty of initiatives concerning energy supply, but we really need to get to work on raw material sources as well. They are responsible for almost 45% of all our CO2 emissions, headed by the chemical industry. The raw materials for our manufacturing are vital to our employment and prosperity, and are currently almost entirely oil and gas based. Some 30 parties are exploring ways to produce a realistic alternative for fossil resources between now and 2050. By recycling with biomass, but also by employing CO2 as raw material, in a circular way. We will capture CO2 from AEB Amsterdam and AVR Rotterdam and supply it to a unique CO2 smart grid. OCAP already supplies half a million tons of CO2 a year to horticultural greenhouses, captured from Shell and Alco factories. And so, CO2 becomes a resource for industry, to be used for the manufacturing of products. We have been able to bind CO2 with a binding agent or bacteria and turn it into building and other materials. We can make CO2 suitable for chemical purposes. The carbon atom is the building block of almost every product we make. By separating the carbon from CO2, it is no longer waste, but a raw material. The result is carbon and oxygen. Adding hydrogen to CO2 allows us to produce syngas. Just about every product for the chemical industry can be made by using syngas. In the first waste to chemistry factory, we even use waste as a raw material. If we add hydrogen, we obtain syngas. Syngas can also be obtained from the blast furnace gases from Tata Steel. We can produce the required green hydrogen from electricity sourced by offshore wind farms and on-land solar energy. Planned along this coast and to be produced by Axo Nobel and Gasuni in Delft Seil. In the province of Zeeland, Dow Chemical and 11 other parties have joined forces in Smart Delta Resources. The use of sustainable biomass is another part of the raw materials transition. After making valuable products from biomass, the residues can be used to produce CO2 for greenhouse horticulture and syngas for industry. If too much CO2 is produced, the excess can be stored in the empty gas fields in the North Sea. We can use the same infrastructure to start using CO2 as a raw material. Carbon capture and usage. The raw materials transition, in fact, sets the circular economy in motion. We will work, build and live without emitting CO2. We will maintain jobs, business and prosperity for the Netherlands and Europe. We will achieve our goals in 2050. Would you like to see what else goes on in the raw materials transition and who is involved? Then watch the longer version of this video.